What's up guys, it's True here bringing you a, another review on Love is Indivisible by Twins. And this episode, I gotta say, first and foremost, a lot was going on. A lot was going on in this one episode. But, uh, let's get to it. So, we start this episode with having Nayori wanting to create a club. That is her obsession now. Uh, her main reason, she just wants to be able to have the time and the space dedicated to have people, mostly her circle of friends, to talk about movies and anime and all that good jazz. And, you know, honestly, it's not a bad idea. It's not. Obviously, we have her being the main person, being in the group, June, June's friend, we have Shiena, and of course, Kamadeka, or Kam Kama, I think it's Kamadeka, I can't remember her name, sorry, but she's also priceless, love her. And we see that this group would be the members, and so they want to find now that they have who they're going to have, the advisor. And they go and try to find a teacher that is relatively cool about it. But that's not the biggest thing that happens in this episode, nor is it the last. Because we also have the situation with Rumi, uh, which is kind of sad. Um, you know, we see the episode with her starting it off, seeing her losing the match. She has double, even triple coverage than normal based on the last round. They are covering her and there's nothing she can do. Uh, the team ends up losing, she's disheartened, she's really sad. And in the midst of all the sadness, we have a guy showing up, Mizuma, I believe that's what his name was. He shows up and like he's like, I'm worried about you, you know, you did great, and you know, I, I'm just concerned about, you know, your well-being. And then he just kind of drops a bomb on her by saying that he likes her. And this, of course, puts her in a tizzy. We know that she still loves uh, June. There is no way she's going to have room in her heart for anybody else. And so for her to just kind of be dropped this is a lot for her to process. She talks to her friend about it and she actually says, look, it could be a tactic to manipulate you when you're low. I love her friend. Here's the thing I'll say. I love the friends to the main characters most of the time because they are the ones that are not only some of the most comedic people, but they're also the most logical people and some of the best characters. Uh, and honestly, I enjoy them. But here, you know, I love how she's breaking it apart and trying to make sense of all the situation. And it's a lot for her, understandably so. Um, and not only that, but she has no idea what's going on behind with Nayori and what's going on with June. And it is kind of wild because uh, whenever Nayori kind of approaches Rumi about what's, you know, like asking her questions about certain things, because now they have a battle about having the room. They got the advisor, now they need to find someone to give up the room, and it just so happens that the classroom that Rumi's in, there might be some basketball people, and again, Rumi is in the dark, she has no idea. So something is cooking with Nayori, and Rumi's going in a slump. And I absolutely hate it. And I love how when Kamadeka asks Nayori, have you talked to your sister about what you're doing? She's like, nah, but I will. It's not like I'm keeping it a secret. And we just get, we can tell that Nayori is really trying to keep her stuff separated from Rumi. And I don't know. I feel like that'll backfire. It doesn't in this episode. Uh, we do see Nayori, I mean, uh, excuse me, Rumi getting really agitated with June because she wanted, because we had saw a phone call between the two. She basically comes out and says, look, your friend, you know, he, he seems interested in me and I told him how I really felt. Um, we said we'd hang out as friends, but I'm going to hang out with him. You know, are you okay with that? But what she wanted out of him was for him to say, no, nah, don't hang out with him. And, you know, for her to feel that and that didn't happen so the frustration is very high with her with with june right now rumi is crying she even throws her phone uh nayori you know comes out and actually kind of like consoles her 
and they even have dinner and the episode for me ends in the wor worst way because she's like why don't you go out with him anyway just hang out with him and she's like huh and the end credits show up like what Ooh, worry, come on man that's that was random and i don't like the ending but we'll see it's getting good let me know what you guys think as always other guys stay safe to care yourselves and others and i'll catch you all later